It's arguably the easiest season to make your first earnings, so let's get right into it and make sure you qual for the first solo victory cup this season in 14 days. Let's go over how to qual and how easy it has become. So first of all, take a look at the points. You always want to do this. You can see one point per kill, 65 for a win. Heavily placement based. You do not want to be going for kills if you're not the best fighter. If you're a crazy fighter, go for kills for fun, but if you just want to qual, don't go for kills. Not worth it at all. Next, it got way easier to qual to finals. Top 15,000 on EU. It used to be top 7,000 last season. Now it's also top 10,000 on NA. Used to be top 5 last season. Last season, you needed around 125 to 130 points to qual. This season, my prediction is it will be around 110 points. So not too hard, but not too easy. Don't underestimate it. Now let's talk about how you want to be playing, what playstyle you want to implement, and how you can easily qual to and if you want to learn more about this season, about the meta, about how to play endgame, definitely check out my own training website called esportxhub.com. It's the first link in the description. Check it out. So let's start off with the most important thing this season, your drop spot. Due to it being heavily placement based, you need to make sure you don't die off spot. You want to get into those end games. So to do that, you need a solid drop spot. What I recommend is this region down here, desert area. Since medallions got removed from this area and got put up to this area, no one will be landing here. It'll be sort of forgotten. I'm going to go Brawler's Battleground also for the cups. Really good spot I can re recommend. Also, make sure to watch the five best drop spots. These are five drop spots that are in this area. These will be way easier to play due to there being less players and you get a lot of mats, you get a lot of loot. You have this whole desert area for it yourself, basically. So the only time you want to be fighting is off spawn to clear that whole spot. If someone does contest, you try to fight them. That way you can get the whole spot for yourself. You can get the loot. Or if you have bad loot, just dip away. Don't go for the kill. Don't risk too much here. So just like that, get your off spawn kill. Get your loot, don't waste too many mats, and now it's all about farming. So once you have that loot, once you have that ideal loadout, this season I recommend you play either hammer or gatekeeper shotgun, depends on your playstyle, then play the striker air, and then jetpack and two heals for cups. So your whole goal for early and mid game is just to get those mats, get cap mats, you want that cap metal, you want your ideal loadout and then you want to preserve it for end game. So let's take a look at your rotates. So right here let's take an example of this zone 2 and how we want to rotate right here. First let's kill this guy. Okay, so to rotate right here, if I want to go for a smart rotate, I always want to take the longer route at the start of the game and get into dead side of zone. So if I were to just run straight line into here, like here, this region, Reckless Rails, everyone will be there. Medallions might come down here, a lot riskier mid gameplay. So what I want to do instead is I want to get into this mountain region or all the way onto the left on this green water region. Because I'm near to the right, I'm gonna go to the right right here, I'm gonna go to the mountain area. And this way I will encounter less players. First of all, you can chill, you can preserve your mats, you can sit in a house, sit in a bush, maybe box up if you can get spare mats, but if you're boxed up, it's always riskier because you might get pushed because people do know where you are, as if you're just camping in a house, no one knows you're there. And you might get free kills if you're sitting in a house. So I recommend sitting in a house, sitting in a bush, Don't box up too early later in the game of course box up and then you can play that position but yeah get a high ground position get into dead side of zone and this is also this also makes it easier to get into next zone so because i'm back here and there's less people around me it's easier for me to rotate again because i'm if i'm in reckless rails there's people all the way around me then it's going to be way harder for me to get out of that position and get to next zone so always think about that and make sure you stay on either side of the zone, which everyone is closer to you, stay on dead side and play that out.
another thing about dead side is if you do encounter someone so if there are people around you it's way easier to fight because there are not so many people so you won't get third party so even if you're looking to fight and kill some people i would play dead side to make sure that you get some easy fights and don't run into too many people that try to third party because i've coached a lot of people they play center zone and then they fight one guy in center zone they're good fighters okay but then they get a bit weak and then the second guy the third guy comes they have no chance so it's completely stupid to play that way if you can just play dead side and go for easier fights plus you'll encounter players that are not that good as well so overall way better to play way easier to play than the middle of zone another thing i have not mentioned is don't play medkits in the qualifiers in the finals of the solo cup of course play medkits you want to win the game you want to win the heal off but in the qualifiers do not play medkits play shields you will get into fights so you want to be ready to heal up if someone is fighting you so play fizz that helps you rotate as well and play minis big pots whatever you can find just some quick heals instead of white heals that you will not be using that much plus medkits are not that rare you'll find them anyways if you need them you'll find them so now because i'm just playing ranked right now i'm not playing super safe i'm trying to go for kills too but if you now i would try to go back on this reach and you can see zone pulls even further back that's another thing you need to be able to do predict where zones are going so it's probably going to keep pulling back here zones usually tend to pull in the same direction so if it starts pulling on the top right it's going to keep pulling here yeah, it went a bit more to the top right. So now, if I already got a good position up here, I can just stay here, for example. Because I already rotated into dead side before. I had a longer rotate, but now I can chill there. Now see the zone pulled even more up here so if i had dead side now i would be up here no one would be here and now i can get an easy rotate down here now comes a very important part when it comes to rotating i'll show you this on the map so now we have this 50 50 zone in total th there are two 50 50 zones 50 50 means half is in zone and half is out of zone of the circle so now if i'm back here what I would want to do is I would want to wait till this part, part starts opening up and then I want to rotate all the way back here into this part because every normal player they'll just go onto the side that's already open see you can see these medallions just moving in here they'll just stay here now if I run around and take my time get into back set no one will be there it is in longer rotate so you want to be careful you'll have a way easier rotate for an next zone there won't be people around you and you'll have the benefits of dead side again as we already talked about now once you're in end game it's all about getting those placements after top 10 you get tons of placements so your goal should always be aiming for around a top 5 placement i'll make a whole nother video about how to play end game Now on this next rotate, again, stay on dead side. So here I want to take the shorter side. It's only three people left in my endgame anyways because it's ranked. But run around here, get onto high ground. And now it's important you get into zone early with these zones. With the 50-50 zone, it's not that important. You would just want to stay on that dead side. Now it's important though that you want to get in early. So once the normal stones start pulling, you want to get in early. I want to be on this high top really early. That way I can wait for everyone to get in i can spray everyone and i have the advantage and in end game make sure if possible play high ground and if not possible play a high layer don't play low ground or only if you can claim full low ground in a really small zone generally don't try to be in this mid layers low ground layers where everyone is And that's how you win the game. That's how you call the finals. I wish you good luck. Make sure to message me on Discord. Comment down below if you have any questions. 